Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Secretary Azar, for appearing before us today on the Trump budget. Uh, after reviewing the Trump budget, I know my neighbors back home in Florida would want me to ask you, why does the administration continue to undermine the law that protects them from discrimination by insurance companies for uh, pre-existing conditions? And they would want me to ask you, why does the administration continue, continue to saddle families with higher health care costs, co-payments, and premiums? And, and let's get into this, to the specifics here. Your department finalized a rule to expand short-term limited duration health plans. These junk plans are not required to comply with the comprehensive consumer protections of the Affordable Care Act. Uh, junk plans undermine protections for people with pre-existing conditions, they increase cost, they leave American families uh, with fewer financial protections and expose them to fraud. So yes or no, are you aware and did you consider in rulemaking that these junk plans discriminate against Americans with pre-existing conditions? The short-term limited duration plans do not have to comply with the Affordable Care Act's four requirements, and we need so to yeah, make sure that was people a, understand So I'll that. take that as they, you, yes, some, you were aware. Some plans make, some plans may, and I believe are covering pre-existing conditions. Some are not, um, and that needs Did to be you know fully that, disclosed. Are you aware that, so you are aware that, that uh, these plans can exclude coverage for pre-existing conditions uh, or decline to offer coverage uh, to individuals with pre-existing conditions? Yes or no? That is that is correct. That yes. is correct. And that's why people need to be fully aware of that if they go into buying them. No, I think what should happen is that we should adhere to the law of the land, that we do not allow discrimination against our neighbors with pre-existing health conditions. That's what the law says. If that were the law of the land, then uh, President Obama violated that, it during his Secretary entire presidency. Secretary Azar, yes or no? Are you aware and did you consider in rulemaking that these uh, junk plans exclude coverage for basic health care services, such as hospitalization, uh, treatment for substance use disorders, or prescription drugs? Yes uh, or no? Short-term limited duration plans may exclude coverage. That's, so, exactly, yes. that's exactly why they can be more affordable options for some so people. So the department also concluded that expanding junk plans will, and I quote, increase premiums and cause an increase in the number of individuals who are uninsured. Other nonpartisan estimates, including the CBO, have also projected that expanding junk plans will increase premiums. So yes or no, are you aware and did you consider in rulemaking that expanding junk plans will lead to higher premiums in the individual market? Uh, did consider that. The CMS actuary had some analysis around that, but given that we now pay for the insurance for everybody in the individual market, they're basically we're subsidizing, I think, over 87% of people's premium acquisition. Nobody should be leaving subsidized insurance to buy one of these plans. If we're buying you a full insurance package, I don't know nope. why you would leave and buy a short-term limited duration plan out of your own pocket. Well, make any sense to me, but. Let me say, the CBO uh, was very clear on this. Yep. They projected premiums will increase by at least 3% due to your junk plan rule and other studies, including uh, one out of the Urban Institute, They've projected higher premium increases uh, across the board as well. well the rule, the You're rule going in the wrong direction. Well, Families the need relief. They, and what is happening is your sabotage, uh, allowing these junk plans, is hurting everybody. And we had expert testimony last week uh, from folks that are implementing in many states that said as much. Uh, your department also finalized a proposal uh, in the final rule that would allow junk plans to be renewed for up to 36 months. This was not presented in the proposed rules and the proposed rule and stakeholders did not have an opportunity to provide input in rulemaking. Why did HHS sidestep the rulemaking process and finalize a major policy change that was not presented in the, in, uh, the proposed rule? I don't believe we did and I my memory is that we asked the question whether there was legal authority for renewability, but I'm not, I'd, <clears throat> I'm, yes, not con I'm not confident of that, but I thought we had asked that question, but I'm not aware of any legal infirmity in the administrative did process. Your, did your so you're saying the department's general counsel provided a legal opinion on the renewability provision? No, I'm saying that I thought we had asked for comment in the notice of proposed rulemaking around the question of renewability. I may be mistaken. Would um, you please my share those documents with the committee? No I'm, no, I'm saying we 
asked the question to the public as to whether and asked for comment. You were asking about whether something was fairly included yes, in the notice of proposed the, rulemaking. Yes, could you provide those documents that you said you provided to the public in any of the legal well, opinions well, it would or be in the Federal Register because it would be, and what I'm saying is I think in the notice of proposed rulemaking we asked that question. So I may be mistaken. you would not provide those I documents? I don't think you're listening it, to what I'm saying, which is that it's in the notice, I believe in the notice of proposed rulemaking we ask the question. But and your department's general, uh, general counsel's legal opinion would not be in the Federal Register. Would you please provide those documents to the committee? We would have to review that under a request for privilege and decide and determine whether that's appropriate to share. I don't believe that you did. 